All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? G'day legends, Chaos Chronicles, alright, so we're going to do a bit of a war story today and um, on the subject of judges and whatnot, it um, reminded me of something that happened quite a while ago but it, it's a memory that's definitely stuck and um, yeah, it, it definitely warrants a video, that's for sure. Um, alright, so look, I think we're talking about maybe 2004 or five, and um yeah, so at the time I was um, allegedly um, selling for, um, illegal items. And so anyway, um, a kid that we went to school with, his father was one of the main magistrates in our area. And as a matter of fact, he was a bit of a hanging judge too. Like he really, really hated everyone, to be honest. Um and so um, at this time, th th this dude had come around to see me and, um, yeah, we just got to chatting, you know, and um, he, he was actually came around to my house with, with one of my mates and I was a little bit, like, dirty about it at first because he's brought, like, a judge's son to my house and I was pretty, pretty dirty about it, I'm not going to lie. But anyway, I got to talking to this guy. I did go to school with him but I was tripping out because he was a judge's son and I was doing illegal things and I was just tripping out on it. But anyway, he ended up being not a bad bloke <laughs> and um, they were just talking about it and, and, and he really had this this hatred for his father, which was pretty funny. And um, so we got to talk and he's like, oh, yeah, my mum and my dad are actually away on holidays right now, blah, blah, blah. And then we just got to talking more. And he told me that his dad's car, um, which had like some kind of government registration apparently, um, and at the time it was a it was a fairly brand new Commodore at the time, and um, yeah. So anyway, um, I suggested that we should probably take that for a joyride, and and he agreed that that, that was probably a good idea, and I was like. I couldn't believe that this was about to happen. So, like, I'd literally been in trouble from this judge and we're literally about to take his car. So <laughs> he didn't allow us to go all the way up to the house, but he allowed us to go to the driveway and he picked us up from the end of the driveway. <laughs> and so we're flying around doing donuts in this this car, which was a judge's car. And, um, you know, I was asking for a drive and I'm just doing standstill burnouts and donuts and then I suggested that we go over to the next town along. So at the time I was living in a country town and there is not much to do in the nightlife in these country towns. And so we went over to the next town where we knew there was a few pubs and whatnot. And so we went over there and by the time we got there, all the pubs were closing, but the cinema was still open. And um, so I said, yeah, let's go into the cinema. They had like um, Daytona in there and I used to love racing that Daytona machine and so I said yeah let's go up and play Daytona on the way up because it was like a two-story cinema so you had to walk upstairs or go up the elevator so we all walked up the stairs but on the way up in the lobby I noticed that there was one of those I don't know if you guys have seen those big they're like um, um, gumball machines but they're like round at the top and they've got the spiral thing that goes all the way down to the bottom <clears throat> I noticed that on the way up and I noticed it was only like <clears throat> like just screwed into the wall um, by a bolt, like wasn't really like anchored there very strongly at all. And um, so anyway, we went up there, we, we mucked around for a little bit, played Daytona. I think we were actually kicked out if I remember correctly, but like don't quote me on that. But anyway, we were all like, I think we did get kicked out because we were all like rushing out really quick. And at the time, I, I was only like maybe 20, 21 years old. And um, so still pretty young and dumb. And so anyway, on the way out, I like seen that thing and I grabbed it like in the headlock. The round bit was like in my arm and I just ran and it just snapped straight out of the wall and I couldn't believe it. So I'm kind of dry, like dragging it along and it was so heavy and I had to stop and put it up on my shoulder. And no one noticed at first that I had taken it. And so they're all running back towards the car. And I'm going, hey, someone give me a hand. And they turn around and they notice that um, they notice that I have that. And um, 
and yeah, they come and give me a hand. And what was so funny is this thing was that big is we literally had to push the doors closed because across the back seat, it was that big. But anyway, we're driving home with this thing. And at the time, I like had dramas with my neighbours at the time who kept, they had video cameras, but they were all just placed right on my front doorstep. And like I used to go and take his video cameras and break them and and whatnot. So I I was having dramas with my next door neighbours and they were always calling the cops on me saying that I was bringing drugs in and out of the house and this and that. And obviously that's all alleged and I was never charged with these things. So, but um, yeah, so I had dramas with this this one neighbour and um, so anyway, I I knew that it was going to be an issue to to bring this thing from the car to my house. I knew that his cameras were going to get it. So I... I ran inside and I grabbed the blanket and so we put a blanket over it and the funny thing is we are carrying it and as we are carrying it back in the house, we all realised like that this thing looked like a body and like because it was round at the top and then had like a flat base and when we are carrying it in, it actually really looked like we are carrying a body in from out the back of this car and um, yeah, it was really funny. So like um, yeah, the cops came to our house and 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 said that, you know, the neighbours have seen this. And, like, I was tripping out because I'm like, they're going to want to come through my house. And so I I had to go and, like, kind of unearth myself and say, no, I will just move in my gumball machine from one house to another. And, like, this is literally, like, only hours after it had been done and my mate in the judge's car had taken off in in the judge's car and I'm sure somewhere in their investigation they would have realised that that was one of the main judge's car and it would have tripped them out. But I never got any backlash of that. Like they never put two and two together. Like I'm sure that that thing would have got reported at some stage. And um, um, But, yeah, at that time, um, yeah, and they were laughing about it and because – they had always been coming to my house from this guy saying that I was bringing bags and bags of drugs into my house and I'm laughing at him saying like, who do you think I am? Like Pablo Escobar, like what bags of what drugs, you know? And so we're having a good laugh about it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate to- story to tell considering we're talking about judges at the moment and um so, yeah, um, I'm also going to do another video on my what's going on with, or well, I believe, the corruption in my case. So, um, yeah, stay on board for this story, guys. It's going to be ongoing and um, I'll let you know what's going on with with everything in that. But um, there is a lot of questions that need to be answered, like in the comment section, and I will answer that with my next video. I'll actually answer a few questions in the one video. So, um, all right, guys, there we go. There is a war story but um as always don't 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 do as i do if you don't want to end up where i ended up you know and i'm very lucky in my life to be here telling you guys not to do this shit you know i've been stabbed a lot of times and and been put in a lot of situations where i probably shouldn't have been here but i'm here and you know it's i I need to try and help you guys from from stop following in my footsteps so yeah don't do drugs and jail, uh, drugs and crime, and you won't end up in jail. And uh, it's as simple as that. I've been the Chaos Chronicles. Also, if you haven't shot me a subscribe, jump up there and shoot me a subscription. That would be absolutely appreciated. And if you smash that bell, that way you'll miss, never miss any of my clips. And I'll see you lot in the next vid. We out. I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not. <laughs>